Hey guys, we are Tyler and Sam Shear. Tyler, Sam, Shear. And we are, <laughs> we are so excited to be talking to you guys today. Um, we're gonna be talking about one of the core values of New Life Church, and that is that the modern church must be relevant. Yeah, and what better way to stay relevant than to make sure that we're reaching out to our Generation Z and making them understand the Bible in the same way that we understand the Bible in regular words, but helping them to understand it in their words. So, Psalms 22, uh, because today's Easter, very relevant. See what I did there? Uh, so, Psalms 22, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? And for the Generation Z translation, why, big chief? Why you got to do me dirty? So Generation Z automatically understands what's there going on go. now. So you're welcome. Uh, so anyways, yes, the church has never needed to be more relevant than today. I mean, look what's going on around us. I mean, it's the times themselves are causing us to need to be relevant because we can't meet in the real building, we can't be there face to face, we have to be meeting online. And so I just, it's so awesome and we want, me and Sam both, we want to thank um, everyone that you know works behind the scenes. Uh, we want to thank Pastor James and Kamani for making all that possible for us as a church body, but also all the people that, you know, they're, they may only ever watch online. So. Uh, we just want to say thank you for everyone that makes that happen. It's super awesome. So, Yeah, and it's so encouraging and refreshing to be a part of a church that understands what it means to be relevant. We know that it doesn't mean, relevancy doesn't mean compromising the Word of God. Um, it just means that we change the way, the style, and the way that we reach people without allowing that to change the message that is reaching people. Preach. The Word of God remains the most relevant book despite how the times change and I'm so thankful that we understand that as a church. So we change our style and our methods because culture is always changing but we don't allow culture to change the message of Jesus Christ because He is unchangeable. Mm. He remains faithful through famine he remains unshaken through a shaky economy, a shaky relationship, a shaky situation. His love endures through all things. Um, during uncertain times, we remember that Psalms 117.2 says, His unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. God's love for us is always relevant. Right. Even reading through the New Testament, you see examples of Jesus remaining relevant to the times by teaching with parables that the people would understand. Jesus always tried to pave the path to the Father by taking down any obstacle or barrier that might stand between himself and people. For sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, one of the most exciting ways at New Life that uh, we stay relevant is by uh, pouring, pouring, pouring into the next generation. Um, you know, these students that are coming up in, you know, even kid life, I mean, even little life, even babies, <laughs> like every single one of them, they're going to be eventually coming up and they're going to be the ones running the church and running our nation. Mm -hmm. So pouring in truth, God's truth into them is so important, so relevant to make sure that once they get to those those places uh, in the future that uh, they're equipped uh, with God's word and not equipped with, you know, culture or, you know, uh, whatever else is feeding, you know, trying to feed people. So Psalms uh, 78, 6 says, so even the next generation might know them, even the children not born yet, and they will in turn teach their own children. So when we stop building the church, uh, we stop furthering God's kingdom when we're not pouring into that next generation. So, uh, so again, we just want to thank uh, New Life. We want to thank Pastor James and Kamani uh, for you know making sure that pouring into the next generation is constantly going on, making sure that we're staying relevant, and making sure that we're keeping up with the times. So, yeah. 
We hope everyone had a great Easter and we really love you guys.